Hello current and future users of Enduring Base. In this movie, I'm going to show you the communication of Enduring Base with other parties on the basis of ISO 5926. So here I have a project and I have opened the PNID inside the project. So I have a sensor, I will navigate to my sensor. And you see, I have some of the other sensors in my transmitters folder. So I can open the worksheet of my transmitters. These transmitters have different attributes. I can open one of them to see all the attributes. And at the end, there are some empty attributes. The price, the model number, URI, currency, and RFQ reply ID. So the scenario is that I have designed these sensors inside my PNID and I want to buy them from main automation contractor and I want to get some model numbers and prices for my sensors. So I have to send these sensors to the main automation contractor, MAC, which is in this case Emerson. So first I will make a snapshot from my worksheet. Okay, then I select my sensors and I go to PC portal. In the PC portal, you can see that I can configure the PCs, export and import based on Namor and 150, export and import based on ISA, or export and import based on ISO 5926. So I select ISO 5926, and on the background, the adapter or the editor will be opened. And you can see that the reference data, which is loading at the background, consists of reference data libraries and template sets for mappings. So I wait for this reference data to be loaded. Okay. Then I go to the extensions and I will activate the Alcotec Engineering Base extension. This extension will activate the communication between the editor or the adapter with Enduring Base database. And here I will select the mapping files for the export and I will press export. So now all my sensors have been exported and the exported data have been created here. I can open it. And here, the object information model is described by the template signature patterns and the mappings are defined in terms of these patterns. This is the most advanced approach developed today. Now I can save this file as OWL or RDF for the export. I will save it on the desktop. And you see that the file has been exported to RDF. So I will send this file by email to Emerson and I will wait for the response. Okay, now that I have received the response, 
which is the reply from Emerson, I have to import the file into NGM base. So I go to the transmitters folder, I go to the PC portal, ISO 5926. And I go to the import RDF file. What I need to do is to first uh, activate the output engineering base and then drag and drop the reply file into adapter. So I need also to open the file. And now here, I will select the mapping and I import the file into engineering base. You see that the data have been exported into engineering base. I can close the adapter. And now I can go to my list versioning and create a new list version. And when I want to compare the worksheets, I can see that these items have been modified. One of the attributes has been changed. So the type instrument type has been changed. Probably this is a mistake. So also I can see the mistakes that might happen during the import and export. And here I can see the transmitter price, currency, transmitter model number, and RFQ reply ID. So in my project, when I open the worksheet, I also can see this information on my objects. Thank you very much.